Hi, this is Act with Cat. My name is Cat Black. <laughs> so I've been teaching acting through Zoom, and I have grown to actually really love the medium. And now that auditions are happening again, they're happening live through Zoom and through other platforms that are similar to Zoom. And I want to help you guys make your auditions the best that they can be and book those jobs. So stick with me for this video and I'll give you a few tips and we'll book some jobs. So when I first started teaching on Zoom, I was like, this is not the same thing. You got these little heads and these little boxes. Kind of feels like you're stuck in a fish bowl or something. It was like really hard to connect. And I could see it with my actors as well. But what ended up happening was, from, even for myself, teaching, was that I was listening deeper. I was really paying attention and connecting to the students. And I started to really focus on that with them as well, to ask them to take a deep breath and just feel their scene partner's presence. And so that, maybe that sounds a little hokey, a little, I don't know, out there or something, but it's really simple. Uh, it's not, it's not at all. It's, it's really kind of like the basics of everything. So like when we're live in a room with, with somebody, when we're around people, remember when we were around people, um, you can feel, you don't, you're not even aware of it, but you're, you feel the other person's energy. Your chemicals and their chemicals are reacting. And, you know, some, sometimes that's why they say you have, they had really good chemistry, you know? That's why they do chemistry reads, to make sure that the two actors, you know, jive with one another. So how do you do that? How do you do that through the, the, the boxes on our screens? Well, it's kind of like, I want you to think of someone in your life that you love, but you haven't seen them in a long time. Can you think of that person? It's really easy, right? You can, you can really sense their presence. Just like shut your eyes, take a deep breath. They're there, you're there, you're with them. That's what you need to do with your scene partner. And that's easy when, you know, I mean, not easy, but it can be easy if you're in a class with somebody and you know them and you're comfortable with them, but maybe that's gonna be hard when you're doing a live Zoom audition and you've just seen this person for the first time. But I think it's that paying attention, you know, like just take a deep breath, just breathe, look at them, look into their eyes and see them, see who they are, see right into their soul, if I may, and you're connected to them. It doesn't take much. Like I, you can do it anytime you see a stranger, you just smile and breathe and you see them, they see you, you know, just that's the moment you gotta have before you start your audition. And once you've done that, once you've taken a deep breath and connected with the person in front of you, notice, you know, their, their hair or smile or just something, you know? I want you to think about where you are in the scene. Those are the two things you need to do. Like where you are physically in the scene, what's happening, what's your, what are you, where are you coming from and where are you going? If you do those two things, breathe, think about where you are in the scene, you're ready. Now you're ready to start your audition. So now I want you to think about how you want the scene to look. I know that's a little bit crazy because you're the actor, 
but this, the screen, now you are the actor and the director and the cinematographer. And you can really use this box that you're in to tell the story. You don't have to go crazy with it, but I really think there are so many opportunities through Zoom to stand out by using the space. There's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be stuck at their desk and, you know, hunched over, looking into, the, into their laptops. And I, I really encourage you not to do that. I myself put the laptop on a music stand so I can just be free, just like I am right now. This is where I do my self tapes, actually. And I, you know, I wanna use the space. But let's say you're, sit you're seated down, you know, can't speak. Let's say you wanna sit for the audition. That's fine too. But I want you to practice, you know, I want you to block this out. And, you know, you can, you can get on Zoom, you could use your FaceTime or whatever you want, the video that's on your, on your, computer, but Zoom's free for 40 minutes, so use it. See what it looks like. And first, depending on where your, your audition takes place, where your scene takes place, you want to have, maybe you want to have your, your you want maybe you want to stand. So you use the music stand like I do, or put it on top of your dresser, or just, you know, work it out. Make sure that you're not Make sure the camera's not looking way up at you or, or you're cut off or just use the, use the space, use the medium. And I want you to, like if you, if you, let's say you're auditioning for a show that actually exists and it's the third season or something like that, go watch the show. I know they always say that, but I'm asking you to do it for a different reason. Watch the show, see how they film it. Pick a scene, when do they go in for a close-up? Because you know what? Do you know how you go in for a close-up on Zoom? You just take a step forward and you're in a close-up. Usually a close-up happens when something emotional, something important, something that the audience really needs to hear, a moment when they want to really pull on the heartstrings and you, can, you could just take one of those moments in your audition and blow their minds. And the opposite is true too. Look at the scenes. You know, if, if, if the show is new or it's a movie, just pick, pick your favorite movie and look at it. Look where the camera placement is for one scene and, and, try, and try and see if there's a moment in your scene where you can do something impactful like that. It's really nice to see an actor's eyes, that's, you know, the most important thing. But you can really stand out and, and, and have a powerful performance if you just step in at the right moment. You can do that by just, just practicing. Just practice in front of your computer camera. And one other thing about the computer camera is, is it's really sensitive. So if you're looking up at something, and even if you just do a slight, a slight movement, it could look like you're doing this. So test that out. Because if you're looking at three different people in your audition, you got your mom here and you've got your, your best friend over here, it could look like you're going like this. And we don't wanna see that. It could look like you, you're, the people that you're talking to are miles apart. So just work that stuff out and how it looks on your computer camera. So you can have a really powerful performance. As a director, one of the tools that we use to communicate a story is what we show, when, why, and also what we don't show. And those, so what you show and what you don't show, when, where, and why, is something that you can apply to your auditions. So just like the close-up moving in at that really important moment, as, as important as it is to see your eyes, you can do the smallest 
removal of your eyes to say something. It's a really tiny but amazing little tool. And because you guys have this opportunity to play on Zoom, to be the actor, director, and cinematographer, I don't know, just see what you come up with. See what you can communicate. You really have this opportunity to, to, be, to be an artist and to play. And, and I think that Zoom auditions are here to stay. So get used to it and have fun. So one last simple, simple, simple tip for you is learn your lines. I know that that's like a given basically, but I've been seeing a lot of actors, they, they don't tell me that they're doing this, but I can tell that they're doing it. They put, the, they put their sides on, the, on their computer screen and then they have their Zoom box right here and they talk to their scene partner and then they just look over when they need their line and then go back to their scene partner, back to their lines, back to their scene partner. You're not, it's just, it's just not going to work. So I really, really urge you to learn your lines. I know that's hard. Believe me, I know it's hard. I'm actually dyslexic. So learning my lines gives me like enormous anxiety, but I do it. And I'll tell you how I do it. I, I don't, I do not memorize my lines. I have several strategies for knowing my lines. Okay, here's how I learn my lines. So I'm about to read internally the other character's line. Great. I have a reaction to it. Now I read my line. You come highly recommended from a colleague. I do not want to be here. I have a reaction to my line. I say what I really want to say. You come highly recommended from a colleague. I say my line again with that new information. Now I read the other character's line. Uh -huh. Fine, my line. How do you think I feel I have to be here? Fine, does that make sense? And I go through the entire script like that, reading the other character's line in my mind, having a verbal reaction, then saying my line, saying what I really wanna say instead of that line, and then saying my line again, and so on. Not only am I learning my lines while I'm doing it, but I'm also learning what it is that I'm saying and I'm getting a personal connection to my lines and I'm getting a personal connection to the other characters' lines. And it really like drops me into the scene. Then, because I'm dyslexic and I'm also paranoid about not knowing my lines and I have a lot of anxiety about knowing my lines, I write the lines out. I don't suggest that for everybody, but if, if you have a hard time learning your lines, it, it, might, it might work for you. It works for me. I just write it out. It's really messy. It looks like chicken scratches. No one would ever know what it is that I'm saying, but I write it out as quickly as I can. And somehow I know my lines. <laughs> and I, I, I just, I really encourage you to learn your lines because casting directors, they always say, that the, you know, the people that book the, the job are the ones that know their lines. And I think what they mean by that is that the, the, the reason for it is because when you learn your lines, you're learning the scene and you're free, you're free to play. If you don't know your lines, no matter how in it you are, you're gonna lose your spot and you're gonna have to go back to it. And some people are really good at that some people are like geniuses at that. And if you're a genius at that, all the power to you. But I still think, I still think that you should go off book. 
because it just, you know, you want to book the job, right? So congrats on your audition. That's amazing. I want you to have fun with it. And uh, let me know if you book the job. This is Act With Cat. Please hit subscribe, you know, just down there. And, or down there, I don't know where it is. And um, if you have any questions or, you know, don't understand anything that I said, or if I missed something, please leave it in the comments below. Break a leg. <laughs>